this North African port, cranes and slings of ships are hauling up supplies and fighting equipment of New Zealand's second... The Kiwis are on the move again, taking up the task they temporarily laid down at the gates of Tunis back in May. While they rested, trained and refitted in Egypt, fresh divisions of Montgomery's 8th Army slugged their way into Italy. To join them now goes East. Between spells of loading, some get a chance of time out for tea, but they're eager to be off again for another crack at Hitler's horde. This embarkation is no hurried adventure, it's part of a long-range plan. After Tunisia, through the hot Egyptian summer, these men trained for a new type of warfare. They tuned up for cross-country fighting. A few weeks ago, they marched 150 miles into the western desert, just for practice. In addition, they've added new power to their infantry. That fast-moving force that swept round the enemy in Tunisia has become an armoured formation. Now they're the first experienced infantry in the British Army, ready for action as shock troops in tanks. onto barges and landing craft that will take them out to the troop ship. While others wait their turn, more and still more men, supplies and equipment reach the wharf. The men go on board with memories of other embarkations, of Fort Nicholson in the early dawn, of the first great adventure setting out for Greece. Crete, when they struggled up the gangway, weary and worn out, with nothing but a hot rifle and a Nazi flag. To speed up loading, barges jammed with men pull round both sides of the ship. Getting men from barges to ships is a slow business, but order and care make the enormous job easier. Some of them, this will be a journey to their eighth Mediterranean country, but it's all just another chapter in the story of Arden. Since Alamein, they've been part of the Eighth Army. Now they're going forward to fight again in the same army. Twelve hours after embarkation began, the convoy is underway. As the men take their last look at the African coast, the transport steam proudly past the surrendered Italian fleet, now ranged on our side of the Mediterranean. out to sea, ships of the convoy check station. The New Zealand division sets out for Italy. Embarkation day meant heavy work for every man. Now there's a chance to relax in the sun. But it's not all rest, and the emergency signal puts every man into his life jacket for boat drill, while observation posts are manned and guns loaded. Today, ships of the Royal Navy command this sea. Trains of the RAF control the air. But there's always a chance of a sneak raider from the bitterly remembered airfields of Crete. Boat drill is the only break in the peaceful routine of the three-day journey. The 
sun goes down behind a horizon where lie the battlefields of yesterday. Aramain, Elagela, Tripoli, Tunisia. The fourth day brings the first glimpse of the mainland of Italy. It took experienced organization to bring to Europe thousands of New Zealand fighting men with their tanks, guns and ammunition, their food and medical supplies, and all the transport of a modern army. Now they're here. Disembarkation time arrives. Barges fill again with men eager to fight with Montgomery's 8th Army, which has already routed the enemy out of Sicily and is now on the road to Rome. the starting line. Italy is the first breach in the crumbling wall of Hitler's fortress. There's a big job ahead for these battle-toughened troops, but Montgomery has said, we'll get what we want. Freiburg's men, reorganized, refitted, reinforced, and refreshed, move in to do their share. of the New Zealand Division, bringing with them the best of war materials from Allied factories. War supplies built up by Allied nations gave our armies their foothold in Europe. But the New Zealanders bring not only equipment, with the men comes battle experience rooted in Greece, Crete and North Africa. Still they pour ashore. Freiburg has told us, now that the final phase of the war against Germany appears in sight, there is a feeling of exhilaration in the air. After their rest in Egypt and a period of training, all ranks are ready for our next row. The Kiwis now land to join the 8th Army, slogging their way up Italy. And when Italy is won, they'll stay on the job until they've driven Germany to final and utter defeat. 